Hi there, this is Wayne Tully and today we're going to draw a warrior. Obviously start off with a head like I always do. I'm just trying to sketch out a bit of the shape. You know, just do it real sketchily because you can always clean up the pencil lines later on. Just about sketching the, the figure of the warrior, you know, deciding where to put setting it. I think I'll give him a large shoulder pad there. Something like that. We draw a couple of spikes or horns there. And we'll give him long, long girly corn and hair, just for warrior effect. See, so we're like we're drafting this uh, figure quite loosely. You know, so we can get all the, the main elements that we want in the drawing. You know, the muscle figure, we'll draw the legs. Now. Start to draft them in, you know, pr pretty, pretty much the same way you'd draft the rest of the figure in. Because you've got to make the, you know, legs look like the, the standing. Do it all roughly. We draw the feet in there. Just draw them as like rough shapes first. You can always refine it later. So as I always say, since this one will be facing towards us, you can go something like that. Give them like uh, almost like fairy Conan esque boots type thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to find the knee joints there and a little bit of the muscle in the, you know, leg. Well, let's just say legs. Let me make this like a, a fairy, I don't know, like a bear skin or something, or something like that. Just killed a bear and he's put it in a burger and he's eating it or something like that. Just do little suggested lines, then we can do the hands, you know, one goes down there. Fist clenched like that. Roughly marked it out there. Um, you know, just could be all like leather bandage things, and maybe like the more fair over there, like that, like just to you know match in with the or tie in with the you know the legs. Not go behind, so only like behind his leg. Then he could have like a sword, 
might go behind his leg or hmm. yes could do or maybe not front of the leg that's best and don't be scared to draw over the your lines you've already established you know because you you want to add depth to your drawings yeah you know. And plus the sword can look better than someone's legs. <laughs> well, unless it's a woman's legs. A good looking model's legs, maybe. But then, you know. What do I know? Let's draw that sword in there. Don't forget the areas like that. Out these muscles a bit more. Clean up little areas, you know, that maybe might not work or they might need a bit more, maybe. Add to this design with a bit more fair coming on there. Your muscles in there. <coughs> we can start to go work on the face now. Maybe draw like moody looking eyes there. Just, uh, just working little areas. Yeah, he's got a right moody face, you know. This is, it's like a Conan type of character, but he's not Conan really. But you know, all these like warrior types. And once you've near enough got the overall shape of everything, you know, you can just, you know, start to shade areas in. Um, just give him some eyebrows. out slightly and 
you know, when it comes to the inking stage, I have to sort that out. Know. That's what you do, you sort little problems out. Just like make little mental notes about little areas like that where you want to, you know, make that eye match with that eye. So, just, I just ink it and, you know, create that area, space around the eye. Yeah, unless you want to make it like, he's like got a scar across his eye or something, you know, which actually that could be a good idea, but, um, yeah. In fact, yeah, be a good idea. Let's shade it through. And it's got like a, a scar. You see, if, if little things like that happen, just try and work around it. Or, you know, this is like, it could have been injured, you know, could have poked it out, you know, with a hot poker, uh, with a marshmallow on the end or something, you know. Could have just been, you know, a crazy night. So we've basically got all our elements there sketched, uh, you know, which we want to, you know, really start to shade and things like that. Obviously, like the areas in between there, that won't exist because the sword will be over the top and there'll be like reflection marks or maybe blood on the sword or, you know, whichever you, every way you want, you know. Define that hand a little bit more like that. And do the knuckles there. Let's be sketchy about it because when it comes to the inking stage, you can pretty much sort it all out. And so there we have our rough warrior drawing. Um, it's like the draft drawing, should I say? And you know, we can darken areas. You know area like maybe might be a dark area there there might be dark areas on this leather strap there under there a little bit of shading under there because that is there and everything and you know different bits of the clothing will help uh, you know shadow areas like you know under here you know that type of thing so we'll come back to this drawing and we'll start to ink the drawing um, off camera though I may sort that hand out because it don't quite don't quite match but through the drawing process you'll you will make mistakes you know um, I've been drawing for years and I still make a few mistakes but it's down to the way you draw the way you wanna you know get your characters together and that type of thing so you know, just don't worry about mistakes because they can always be fixed before you come to ink the full, you know, the full drawing anyway, so don't worry about it too much that's why pencils are used for draft sketching just have fun drawing <laughs> 